The Western Line. Zones. Zone 2. The Northern Range. Overview. Tours and Features. Welcome to the zone videos for the Western Line of Dartmoor. The second zone is the Northern Range, in the north of the Western Line. It consists of these tours, rocks, crags and hills. Watch it Hill. The unknown rocks in the track out of Bellstone. The Walrus Stone. Scare Tour. Tours End. Bellstone Tour. Higher Tour. Irishman's Wall. Lower Tour. Winter Tour. Natterborough Tour and Oak Tour. Best Approach and Route To hike this zone you can travel to the village of Bellstone and park on the side of the road in the scenic area south from the pub. Staying on this road and walking along it south from this with one right turn where the track forks in two you can reach a stone-walled corridor running between two farmers' fields that ends in a gate onto the open moorland. From here you can begin to navigate. To your right will be Watchet Hill and Tor's End. To your left, a track will take you alongside the River Tor to the Walrus Stone and beyond. Feature number seven, Watchet Hill. At around 380 meters high, Watchet Hill is a bland, gently curving grassy hill, with views out of Dartmoor to its north. It has tracks off to the east that pass a jutting compound of houses known as Resugger on its way to Bellstone. Taking a different track from the top flagpole to the west can take you to the Nine Maiden Stones, an ancient Neolithic gathering site. To the south towers the Tor, Tor's End which from this vantage point stands tall and has sporadic track access. Number eight, the Walrus Slipper Stones. Going south out of Belston and onto the moor, the track crosses a couple of large, broad, flat stones, sloping at a slight angle to the track. Due to their placement, I have marked these unknown rocks as a feature on the western line, which for lack of a better name, I will label the Walrus Slipper Stones, as they are on the way to the Walrus Stone. Number 9. The Walrus Stone. Along the same track south from Bellstone I have mentioned, and lining up quite snugly almost exactly opposite Ladybrook Tor, on the other side of the Tor River Valley, a singular and walrus-like stone occurs rising from the ferns. Number 10, Scare Tor. In the west of this zone, hanging low with the East Oakmont River flowing down in a valley to its west, is the peculiarly named and spelt Scare Tor at 365 meters in height. South from it are grass tracks to a bridge over the river and further west is a car parking just up from the bridge and ford over Black Aven Brook. You can reach this car park by driving to Oakhampton Town, then south past the entrance to Oakhampton Military Camp and over the bridge after the cattle grid. This is perhaps the shortest route, but you can also walk to it from Bellstone to the Nine Maiden Stones and down, all coming south from West Cleave Tor. Number 11, Tor's End. Tor's End is a good marker to define the ridge I call the Northern Range, which contains a series of peaks stunningly running north to south from Tor's End to Oak Tor in the south of this zone. You can begin a great ridge walk once you have found this Tor, with peaks easily spotted to the south of you. Number 12, Bellstone Tor. From my assessment of various maps, this is my placement of Bellstone Tor, 
which may differ in location depending on which map you use to locate its position. You will find that many tours on Dartmoor may be completely ignored by official maps, have multiple names handed down through the ages, or have conflicting historical information from different authors regarding their positions and neighbours. This is one such tour, with some people regarding the high peak further on from it as Bilstone Tour, but taking this stance, muddying the waters regarding the sudden loss of identity of this clearly separated tour here. It is my belief that this is the position of Bellstone Tour. Number 13. Higher Tour. Higher Tour, often mistaken for Bellstone Tour, is the highest grouping of rock stacks on the Northern Range at 479 metres at the top. It contains around seven rock stacks, that is to say, large, neighbouring but separated clusters or piles of large rocks in the same region. It is also bisected by Irishman's Wall, between its fourth and fifth stack. Walking up from Belston Tor is easy, as the track is clearly visible. Walking up from the west side on either side of Irishman's Wall can be rather difficult, but is not impossible if you are fairly fit. The first stack is like a stepped peak with views over to the second stack, which resembles a large pyramidal crescent of rocks. Head south toward the wall here to see two more stacks to your left. An anthropomorphic looking rock hangs just past the stone wall and a large shelf and miniature cliff with a stack like a lookout point lie close by. An opening of grass to the south separates you from the next tour. Number 14. Irishman's Wall. This ancient stone wall, with parts in disarray, runs up from the west of the range near a river crossing of the East Oakmont, climbs the saddle of higher tour and splits it before dropping down to the east of the range south of Holloway's Field, and the tracks beside the River Tor. Number 15. Lower Tor. The unimpressively named Lower Tor disguises the very impressive and gigantic rock stack in the grass south of Higher Tor. On its east side it is an imposing brick of cliff, but you can carefully climb to the very top of this high object around the back to its west side. Make sure you have good footing. Further south beside the track, a small low to ground second stack shies away from its gigantic sibling. Number 16. Winter Tor. A rough track of rolling stones up from Scary Tor and the small bridge crossing the East Oakman River will lift you up to around 400 metres, passing Winter Tor, which hangs to the west of the track. You can also drop down from Lower Tor to reach this. It is a modest prick of rocks, offering a fair view of the East Oakman Valley around Hartor Farm, or East Oakman Farm, depending on which map you see. Number 17. Natabara Tor. South of Lower Tor and Winter Tor, two tracks from each converge to become one on top of the continuing ridge which beautifully arcs gradually right around a bowl in the landscape of the River Tor. The ridge now becomes more featureless and grassy, a domain of livestock, until a couple of short stacks provide a serene stop-off point for the walker. At 438 metres, this is Nataburra Tor. Its two low grassy tops can provide a calm lookout to the west to see an observation post building with a small car park attached to Hart Tor 2 over Henry's Ford across the East Oakmont River. Number 18. 
Continuing south on the ridge around the bowl from Nataburator, you slowly creep down the relaxing track to the last rocks of this ridge, Oak Tor. This tor appears to have many stacks that merge into each other, and are therefore difficult to count. Where does one draw a distinction between these rocks? The animals like to cluster here, cows and sheep stopping by often, and in late summer months leaving their unfortunate natural detritus cloaking the tor. Aside from that, you will find Oak Tor to have some amazing rock formations, including an arrangement of towers like a dense skyscraper city miniature model made of natural granite, and a rock corridor leading to a flat, sheltered V-shaped clearing between the rocks. At its south end is a tumble of tall boulders rising to 466 metres, with some military huts at the bottom, and a view south of the towering Steeperton Tor, outside of the western line. Additional Notes To the east of Lower Tor and Winter Tor, down the slopes, lies a U-shaped kink in the River Tor known as Horseshoe Bend, which is a pleasant picnic spot. Oak Tor lies in the Oakhampton part of the Dartmoor Military Firing Ranges. These parts of the moor see scheduled military events by the British Army that are for live firing training, and walkers are generally advised by a governmental website of what days and times this is occurring, and by the flying of red flags on flagpoles in the vicinity, and white red coloured poles placed on the landscape to denote borders of the firing range. It can be dangerous to walk onto the moor in these areas during live fire exercises. Regular timetables are issued at this website that the state issues to warn public of army live fire training events. You will also see the location of the firing range's area of influence on maps of Dartmoor labelled Danger Area.